Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out level four, restoring power free play for Lego Jurassic World. Now you can see on the left hand side, we do have a few requirements. One is to complete the story. Another is to have the Velociraptor Amber Brick and the Compi Amber Brick, which the Velociraptor is actually this level. So it's kind of a catch 22, but uh, we've already snuck in and grabbed it. So we have everything we need. We're gonna go ahead and choose restoring power from the menu and choose free play. Once you have your character selected, it's going to go ahead and kick us right off into a running scene. Now, as you noticed, we actually chose a female character, and that's because there is a jumping moment here in a minute. But uh, starting off, you want to stay on the right-hand side, and as soon as you get that first of three signs, immediately move to the left, and then right back to the right. And as soon as you see that coin trail start, follow it up and get ready to jump, because as you can see, there is a mini kit. Now, the good news is you can start this level over again and uh, pick that right off, and no worries. But... There are more than three signs you can grab, too. As you can see, there's another one right there. So there's five total signs. I believe any of those three will get you the mini kit. And the other mini kit's just floating in the air right there. So, all right, we did use our original footage of when we snuck in here and grabbed the brick. So you might notice a difference in stud totals. Oh, there was the edit right there. But uh, pretty smooth, though, huh? Not bad, not too shabby. Had I not pointed it out, you might have even missed it. But, uh, all right, so the Amber Brick was in the poo on the right. Now we're going to switch to Nick Van Owen and use his crowbar right in this little gully here and uh, get a get a mini kit for uh, breaking in the door there. So, all right, now we got a little bit of story mode stuff. So if you're in a hurry and you're actively looking for the mini kits, we do have quick links down below, and you can quick quickly click through to each of those. Uh, if you're following along for the story stuff, make sure you select a tracker and destroy the barrel and then track the piece, which actually gives us a key to open the door. Once the door's open, you're going to want to switch to a character that has the shocking ability. Not Dane Cook, but Joffrey will do the trick. And uh, we'll go ahead and use the shocker and charge that up. And it kicks out a few pieces, which you can build up into mini kit number four. Now, quickly, you're going to need to switch to somebody with the shooting ability. Uh, old Robert Muldoon will work, old uh, Barry will work too. Shoot down the target and it'll give us a few pieces to complete the bridge. Once we complete the bridge, we're going to go ahead and jump off to the left hand side. Don't go up the stairs and pass the steam stuff, go to the left just short of that. And uh, we're going to have to break some stuff open and then switch to a little dude in order to switch through the mini door. Now not only you get a mini kit, but you also get a bluesy. So. Woo to the hoo! Now, we're going to do some backtracking here. Uh, the reason we did a little backtracking is because there are four of these red lights that we need to take out. But the fourth one is like at the very end uh, past that steam trail. So we wanted to get everything else first so that we could just go ahead and get all four of these and not have to totally backtrack all the way. So first is at the top of the stairs. The second is right above the poo from where we grabbed the, uh, the amber brick. I almost called it a rip brick. The next one is right above the cage, right before we uh, got to the gate there. And the last one, like I said, is actually at the end of this hallway here, past all the steam stuff. So we're going to need to go ahead and switch to a female character and use the agility ability up here and uh, pull that switch down. Once we pull that down, we sneak on through with the, our, our other character. And we'll go ahead and spin to win on this here using the left stick. And once we get that completed, the steam stops. Make sure you grab that bluesy along the way. And uh, we'll continue all the way down the hallway. And uh, just to the left here, right at the intersection, up above, you can see the fourth and final Booyakashow. So go ahead and shoot it and then switch on over to a female character or somebody who can, I guess, your favorite dino dung diver. And uh, go ahead and dig out the pieces and build the mini door. Once you have the door built, go ahead and switch to a little guy, such as Gray Mitchell. And now we're going to need a compi here in a second. So if uh, you've been following along, you should be good to go. Go ahead and pull up your character menu here and pull up the Composaurus. Compnagasaurus, I guess. I'm not very good at saying that, so I just say compi. But the goal is you have to go through the compi tube and actually press the three red lights and turn them green. Once you do that, it's actually going to open up that big yellow and black checkered thing down there, and it's going to give us a mini kit. So we'll get all the way up to the top here, and we'll go ahead. One last little tube all the way up. And we're going to have to make these tube or take the trip up these tubes one more time because we do drop down and get 
the uh, mini kit instead of uh, actually rolling out. So you guys should actually go over to the right right now and bust open those boxes that we're going to do here in a second and get that mini kit now so that you can uh, not have to go up the tubes again. But we're going to pull out of the tube and drop down and grab that mini kit because we like to get them in order. And now we're going to climb back up the tube and go out to the right-hand side. And there's a couple of boxes there. I believe they're brown boxes just sitting in the middle of the pad there. And we're going to bust those open and rebuild those into a mini kit. Now, fun fact for you, the compies cannot build. So if you're a compie and you destroy these, make sure you switch to another character so you can build these instead of getting frustrated thinking the game's glitched or something. But build them up with your character of choice. We chose gray because we have to slide back through that mini door at the bottom again. And uh, make sure you grab that mini kit. All right. Now, our other character. What, what happened here? I'm not sure. Like, if you remember, we were both characters were right by the dino dung when we went into that mini door. I'm not sure why Barra went all the way back, but he did. And uh, we're going to go ahead and use his gun to shoot the target, which is actually going to stop the steam for a second. We'll switch to a character with the agility ability, hop over the wall, pull down the old switch. Make sure you pull it all the way, because as you can see, I failed. And wait for this. Are you guys ready for this? First time all series. Booyaka show! Got it in one try. All right, we skipped the cutscene, and we are now outside, and we are going to keep on keeping on down the path until we get to the spot where we bust open the fern, and there's a tracking item. Now, uh, not only is this where uh, we actually find the items needed in order to get up and over this part, but as the camera pans up, you'll see that there is a target up above us. Just wait, we got to water the roots here and grow the plant. But uh, you can see there is a target up there with a couple of eggs. So we'll go ahead and shoot that down. And that is the first of four targets that we'll take out in this area. So uh, go ahead and use the old twirly poles to get up and around with your female character of choice. I guess I'm not positive that there is a male or isn't a male with the agility ability. I'd, I'd be curious to know if there is. But uh, anyways, go ahead and get up top with the character with a gun and shoot that target. Keep on keeping on up the trail until you get jumped by a raptor. Rawr! And uh, go ahead and press the buttons indicated to go ahead and kick him in the right in the kissa and make him jump off. And right past that up on the left-hand side of the trail. It's kind of hard to see, but you could you could see I targeted and hit the second of four. Now we're going to need another dino dung diver here in a second. But right up above it, you're going to see that there is the third of four. So we're going to need to go ahead and switch to a character and dive in that dino dung. We're going to build up some pieces that came out of that, which actually give us a little footbridge to make it across the little uh, ravine here. Soon as we get that bridge up and running, switch to a character with a gun and blast that target up there. Uh, you do not want to advance any further because you want to drop down and take out this fern right below you. And uh, all of a sudden, you, you find a, a raptor scent trail. So we'll go ahead and choose our Velociraptor and follow that scent trail. At one point, I do somehow lose the scent. It was kind of weird, and I just had to backtrack a little bit. You'll see here in a second. But uh, follow it up, and uh, you should continue all the way down. So yeah, look, there. It's, it's like, where'd it go? Which way did it go? Which way did it go? All right, so there it is. We're going to follow it all the way down. We're going to drop down another level here after we destroy a few things. And, oh, look at that. Ellie's already waiting down here for us. And, oh, we dug up a little pile. So we're going to go ahead and switch to Alan because he's got the digging ability. And we're going to dig up the bits, which happen to be a bunch of mini kit parts. So we'll build those up. And, blammo, mini kit 10. So that is actually going to wrap it up for all the collectibles. As per usual, though, we're going to go ahead and finish this level out. Not much left. We're going to make it down the trail and get jumped one more time. And uh, I don't know what he's thinking. I mean, I'm a monster. Rawr! I don't, we're not very scared of a Velociraptor these days, though. We've definitely seen our fair share in-game anyways. As you continue down the path, though, you do find some trees and shrubs. Smash them down and find some build-it bricks. Once you build those bricks up, you get one of those leverage points that you can jump up with a character with the agility ability. And then we're going to go ahead and follow these rocks down the hill and slide our way down. And once we get to the very bottom, we find an item that uh, requires a tracker. So we're going to switch on over to Beret again, and he's going to follow it all the way down and around. And blammo, we get jumped one more time by another raptor. And again, Barry shows no fear and, uh, in fact, shows him who's boss, Tony Danza style. 
And we're going to go ahead. And now it's just a matter of playing the memory game. He's going to go back and forth in the shrubs here. And I, I had my other character as a raptor, so I switched that to not make it confusing. And basically, we just got to follow. The last shrub moving is the one you want to target and shoot or pick up the rock and shoot it. Or throw it at, rather. Yeah, shoot a rock at him. Pew, pew, pew. And all right, so third time's the charm here. Blammo. Yours is probably going to be different than mine, but it may be the same pattern. I don't know. After you win at hide and seek three times, though, that's going to actually take us to the final totals. And restoring power free play is now complete. We got all 10 mini kits and we got the amber brick. Even though we'd already got it once, we went back and kind of re got it for you. Uh, yeah, because we never know how you guys are going to watch these videos. If you're going to Google us and find us, if you're going to go one, two, three, four, if you're going to follow our order on our playlist. Anyways, we did actually get all 10 mini kits. We got the True Survivor as well, which are both going to reward us with gold bricks. We got Super Paid as well. That's nice. We A lot of blue studdage for getting all them items. And uh, there's the gold bricks as promised. But, uh, oh, to the end. Yeah, return to the island means one thing. That that's going to wrap up LEGO Jurassic World Level 4 Restoring Power Free Play. Hopefully you guys found this video awesomely entertaining and mildly helpful as well. The quick links are there to help you get through these faster. Maybe next video you can utilize those. Who knows? Maybe you like hanging out, listen to my nasally drone. Uh, anyways, head on over to Facebook, Twitter, comment, vote, subscribe. If you guys have any comments, questions, or suggestions for us, if you guys have, uh, you know, if you guys like trophy achievement guides, you like reading things and seeing things visually, or maybe you have a couple questions about certain things, check out happythumbsgaming.com. We have a whole bunch of trophy achievement guides, including one for Lego Jurassic World. So, uh, oh, to the yeah, the link for that can be found next to all of our social links and our playlist link that are all down below in the video description. So check it, check it out. As for me, that's it. As always. In until next time.